Today we're going to look at how to get the most out of Yoast SEO Premium and we're going to make sure that we did everything right. So what we want to see is a green dot here and a green dot here. The left green dot is that we did everything in SEO correctly. The right green dot is that we did we made it readable. readable. Readability is important. We can't use big words. We can't use sentences that are too long. We've got to separate paragraphs by uh, subheading and things like that. Also not using passive voice too much. So we'll look at this one first, background checks, and we'll see uh, why we got those green dots. So we wrote all of this text, we scroll down, and here we see SEO premium analysis. So it lists all of the things that we did right, and it would show a red dot next to anything we did wrong that we could improve on. So we did all of these things right. There is nothing Yoast is recommending that we could do to do a better job here. Then they also give us readability. And they're saying that we didn't use a passive voice too much. We didn't use consecutive sentences too much. We did put in a subheading. Our paragraph length is not too long. Sentence length is right. Transi transition words are there. Like after a sentence ends, you've got to say, for example, at the beginning of the next sentence and things like that. Word complexity, they want it to be so simple that a young teenager could read and understand every word of this. And then inclusive language is another thing that um, we're looking at. So uh, Google won't like it if we use words like crazy. Um, crazy can be insulting to people. So instead we would use a word like unbelievable. So if I said, wow, that was really crazy, that would be wrong. I should say, wow, that was unbelievable. Uh, also words like salesman instead of salesperson. Google is looking at all of these things. So anyway, in this uh, blog post, it says we did all of that right. Let's check the other one. So this one is condominium background checks. And we scroll down and first, here's where we put in the focus keyword. That's what we're trying to get ranking for in the search engines. So we scroll down here and check this one. We've got green dots all the way. There's nothing else we can do to make this better, according to Yoast SEO Premium. And then readability. Again, we did everything right with passive voice, sentence length, paragraph length, uh, subheading, and so on. And inclusive language, all good there too. There's one feature Yoast SEO Premium gives us, which I think is almost pointless, and I'll show you why. So here's our keyword phrase. This is what we're trying to rank for, condominium background checks. So they give us the option of adding a, a key phrase synonym. Sounds good, right? But what would be a synonym to, to um, condominium background checks? Oops, I'll put, I'll put in this, I'll put in the singular instead of the plural. So where did that go? Click on that. Here it is, add related key phrase. So the related key phrase would be without an S. Now I know I'm not gonna have good ranking for that because I was trying to rank for the other word. So I might get okay ranking. So um, the key phrase length is good, the key phrase density is good. I did use that phrase in here, but key phrase in the introduction. Well, of course it's not in the introduction because I used this key phrase with an S on the end of the word check. And key phrase in the meta description, it's missing. Well, that's because again, I used the key phrase with the letter S. So it's an almost useless feature that they let you put in a related key phrase. But um, other than that, it does work great. We've got everything in here that Google wants us to have for good results in SEO.